What's up everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming and get your popcorn ready and your comfy slippers on because this is another long one. We've got Nueva York Free Room for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. There are quite a few doozies in this one and I don't know if this is just because it's complex with a lot of buildings in a small tightly packed area and there's even an underground section we get into but uh, or if it was just me and, and I just didn't see the obvious things. Now we're going to start things off by taking off in Nueva York and activating that computer terminal as you guys know. It's going to give us all of the collectible locations in the area. Now real quick too, want to give a special shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game it is our duty to let you guys know that we're not bragging or anything it's actually required so uh that being said we're gonna give a shout out to tyler p this is kind of bragging for hooking us up with all of the information on the collectibles for our trophy achievement guide he has provided all sorts of information regarding challenges the order of which areas we should do and all sorts of things so uh now that we've got all the collectibles on the map and ready to go we're actually going to use the fast travel point to speed things up and take us all the way over to the shoreline where our first puzzle is going to be found. Now, this is one of those ones that was kind of a doozy. I had to make a few edits. Now, you know, there's always like one video in our playlist that ends up being kind of the uh, wonkadoo, if you will, where I just didn't do so hot and maybe made some edits or just had a mistake or whatever the case may be. Now, I've already had a couple of videos that had some text errors. Now, this one uh, has a few edits because I couldn't figure out how to solve this puzzle. But as it turns out, there are three, that's right, three, three power sources that will actually open up that lockbox with our gold brick in it. And they're all behind us. So we're going to go ahead and check out the three different piers behind the lockbox. The first one is on the far right if you're looking at the lockbox from the water. And uh, we get up top, we smash that cracked bit up top and then press that pressure sensitive switch which actually uh, turns on the power for that first one. So now we're going to fly over all the way over to the far left side because if I'm being completely honest, I did not realize that middle one was shorting out I thought it was on and that by activating these other two it was gonna activate that other one fully but that is not the case so the one on the far left is a simple switch that you just have to press the old button the Rooney there and look at that so that middle one is still flashing so we're gonna go ahead and look at this these guys are getting their ints, ints on that right they got a little techno music going on the background dancing around and they, I think he's and says this ain't no rave or something along those lines but uh, as it turns out there is a power source that needs to be dealt with underwater. So I actually figured this out by following the flashing lines that are kind of going down under there. So we're going to do just that. And it's kind of ironic how huh? Dormammu is on fire, but he's underwater and still on fire. Uh, I don't know. Anyhow, we'll go ahead and rip that open because he has the strength. Oh, look at that. He's also got the size. He gets oh so big. But we actually need somebody to get oh so small. So we switch on over to Ms. Marvel and get inside it to get our hack on. That's right. You know me. There's all these bluesies floating around. and I got to get them all. At least got to get most of them in most cases for these. It's not always all of them. Sometimes there's one or two just kind of floating around off in the distance. But not this time. I did indeed get them all. Or did I? Yes, I did. Okay. For a second, I thought there was one floating around but it was just the power flowing through that circuitry there but all right speaking of power flowing through circuitry we actually got this one pump pump pumped all the way up and it's gonna go ahead and complete the trifecta that needed to be done and look at this guy he's kicking it what are you doing buddy oh he, hey sometimes you just need to give it a little bit of extra motivation and that time it was in the form of a foot right to the tuchus but uh, all right, so we go ahead and we get that gold brick. This actually was one of the more difficult parts of this as well because I'm in the water and I was trying not to complicate things and make it longer by switching to a flying character and flying up and out, but it actually probably would have been smoother and easier to do that. But I eventually get out of the water and collect our gold brick. Next up, we're going to take on our first mission. This one's not too far away. And I want to point out, too, that it might be worth your time to go ahead and do some of the People's Heroes challenges. That's right. Those are the red circles with the white exclamation mark on them scattered throughout. Or burning up some of them cars by getting your pew pew on. Because there is a trophy achievement called Road Rage 2 for taking out 100 cars. And it's probably easierly. Easierly? That's an interesting word. It's probably easier done uh, over time rather than all in one sitting. But, uh, hey. Uh, we're all the way over Agent Coulson already, and we're going to go ahead and listen to what he has to say. Turns out we've got some recon to do for him, if I remember correctly. We got to talk to some people, 
and they're going to give us some answers of some locations that might be good for a future base. And that's right, base in your face. But there's, well, basically, there are, what, five, I think? Five different people scattered throughout Chronopolis. So they're not all in Nueva York. They're all over the place. And we're going to have to go and find them and speak to them. But it's pretty easy. The old compass there gives us a good indication of where they are. It also tells us height, whether they are above or below us. And in this case, you can see the little icon there has a couple arrows pointing up, indicating it's not just a little bit up. It's quite a bit up. So we get up, 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 and away. And there she blows, sitting on the ledge there. That's, that's a nice beautiful view. Now, I do want to point out, too, I do have a neighbor doing a bunch of chainsaw work. I don't believe you can hear any of that buzz sawing out there, but just in case, that's what's going on. We're not doing any, like, remodeling of the house or anything funky like that. It happens to be the neighbors. And there's not a lot I can do about it because it is rather warm today, surprisingly. And uh, I got my window open to get a little breathability up in here. But, uh, all right, so next one is going to be all the way over in Hala. That's right. So we started off at the Old West, and really there's no specific order that you need to do these in. However, you know, we're, we just kind of picked a spot on the compass and just went with it. Now, uh, speaking of picking a spot, I, I should mention that there are quick links down below in the video description. Like, I know some of you like scrolling through and finding the next collectible, but hey, if you want to get exactly, precisely to a specific part in our video, like maybe you want to know where that Stan Lee is, because he's kind of a pesky little dude in this one, he's underground. But Or maybe you want to know where all of these characters are scattered throughout, or there's even a photo op where we have to take some photos of locations that are scattered throughout Chronopolis too. Whatever it may be, use those quick links down below to hurry and get through there. Now, I made mention of the People's Hero a minute ago, and look at that. I've got 20 of 25 already, and I haven't spent any time farming those. However, I would recommend if you are going to try to get that challenge wrapped up and in your rear view, go to the Old West and just kind of fly and hang out there. I was just getting the posters, and getting the posters alone, I got like 8 or 10, and I didn't even take out any bad guys. They just kind of took care of themselves and gave me credit for it. It was kind of weird, but you might look into the Old West if you are... In in a hurry to get that farm on now so we've got uh we got old west hala and now egypt in our rear view and where oh where would the next one be now uh, let me know what you guys think in situations like this where there are kind of longer periods of time in between collectibles or people to talk to in this case would it be helpful to add some more information to our quick links like uh, for example, this is mission one, but we could have broken it down and given you mission one, part one, part two, part three, you know, like Old West, Hala, Egypt, and now Medieval England. Like, you know, that might speed things up for you. I don't know if that's uh, overkill or not. Oh, and look at this guy hiding, getting all up close and personal to that wall. I almost didn't see him if that little circle button wouldn't have popped up above her, her head, I guess. I was calling him him. But uh, anyhow, that being said, we got this one. Let me know, though, about those extra pieces of information, that extra metadata down there, if that would help or not, or if it would just make things more confusing. All right. Last but not least, it looks like the last one is right there where we started in Nueva York. So that kind of works out. You know, sometimes things work out better than if we would have planned them. You know, we really had no idea or I had no idea that this final person was going to be back here. You know, and, and if I would have known there was one in Nueva York to begin with, I might have actually gone here first. But uh, regardless, look, it kind of full circle came back around and we got the final person. Uh, not on the ground. She's actually up in, on a sky rise here. So again, use that compass and those arrows to let you know if it's up or down. And last but not least, once we get this little tidbit of info, we got to follow that purple arrow back down below and talk to old Agent Coulson and let him know what the skinny is on all these locations. Now, uh, there is a right and a wrong answer, but it's not like you can fail this. It's just a matter of time. So if you pay attention, it says, where's the best ideal location for the new shield base? Well, uh, based on our information, uh, the, the first one said something about occupying most of the underground. We don't want to be underground, and not necessarily, especially not if somebody's already there occupying it. So answer the question. It was pretty much easy. It was number two. And look at that. Agent Coulson character token for me and you. Woohoo. All right, what do we got next? So we got a puzzle coming up next. So uh, that's right. Hopefully you got your your mystery solving brain ready to roll. This one's actually fairly simple. It's a uh, gold brick inside a box. That's right. It's a brick in a box. 
we got to get the power going in order to open that. And it turns out there's four power cables. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. Just pick one and go ahead and make your way over there. First one we find actually requires a little bit of stealth. So we choose Ravana to go ahead and get her stealth on and sneak by those security cameras and flip that switch. With a flick of the switch, it powers up that first one and we can move on to the next. So, uh, let's see, this one's around the corner up. Ooh, this one requires electricity or the, uh, I guess, vulnerability to electricity. So Thor would do the trick. We got Lady Thor as well. We got all sorts of characters that can withstand the electrocution. And just pick one and make it happen. Next up, we need some strength. That's right. It looks like Thor's been hitting the gym, and he is going to make it happen for us. So he rips open this box, and inside we've got ourselves some buildable bricks. Build it up into a switch, and of course, push it. Beep boop, boop, beep boop, boop. And booyaka shall. Three of four. I told you this was an easy one. And last but not least is this one on the left. Oh, it's a double grappler. So somebody like Spidey is going to do the trick for us. So we pull it out and spam, 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 and rip it open. And look at that. One last little push of the button. And yeah, buddy. I don't know what that steam was. Were they forging the gold brick? Hey, speaking of forging bricks, did you guys ever check out our trip to Legoland? I'm going to talk about that instead of what's going on on screen right now because it's super embarrassing. Like, I can't for the life of me get on top of this roof. But, uh, yeah, we went to Legoland a few months back, and I did a nice little vlog video to kind of showcase all that stuff. And we were lucky enough to get a behind-the-scenes tour of Legoland's uh, brick building stuffs. So we actually got some bricks fresh off the press. Now, unfortunately, you don't get to see the brick come right out into my hand, but you do get to see the whole process, and I talk all about it. So check that out. You know, you might want to uh, go to Legoland, and there might be some info in there for you that you might find handy. We also went to Disneyland on that trip, and there's also info on Disneyland and California Adventure, too. All right, enough self so, so, shameless promotion there. Uh, we're going to move along to another mission. This one happens to be Captain America 2099. Now, I got to be honest, if that's the going hairdo styles in the future, uh, can we press the pause button? No, uh, you know what? That's not too bad. It's like a tall pony, and I'm still not 100% sure. Maybe you guys can tell me. I know a quick Google search could probably solve this issue for me as well, but is this Captain America a, a, a male or a female? The uh, big the big pony coming out the top, it kind of makes me feel like it's a, a female. However, there are plenty of males that have ponytails, so there's that. But the voice, too. I, you know, I don't know if it was just the character actor that they chose or if it was intentional. But it kind of seems like maybe, just maybe, that there is a female version of Captain America. And I don't see why there couldn't be. There's female versions of everybody. Shoot, there's even a, a Spider-UK coming up. That's right, there's a, a UK version of Spider-Man, which I didn't know. And At first, I thought it was Spider-Uck. <laughs> but but it turns out that that's not that's not how you say that. So leave it to me to slaughter a word or a name. You know I've got the gold medal in that. If there was if there was an Olympic event for slaughtering people's names, oh, I, I would be in the runnings for the gold medal every year, I think. But uh, speaking of Olympics, that's uh, actually happening right now. Not to time date this video, but uh, I haven't watched a bit of it. Not even a, a second or two. Like, uh, it's been going on all around me, and I just have kind of missed out on it. So I have no idea who is winning. But uh, fun stuff, though. Fun stuff. But look at that. We are not quite done with our mission. It turns out that was just kind of a little uh, sidetracking moment. And we, uh, and we got too far ahead, too. That's something that should be noted. You can actually outrun the hero you're helping. And it's certainly a pain in the tickets when you get way up there and then you don't realize it and you got to run all the way back. And it's like, why are they standing there? I don't, I don't understand that either. But I guess it's, uh, it's something to do with the fact that a lot of these quests and missions, I call them quests again, a lot of these missions and puzzles actually will reset if you take off from like, let's say right here we're in Nueva York and you mess up a puzzle and, and like something's wrong. Uh, you can actually fly to like Egypt or Manhattan far enough outside of the city limits that it actually should reset that puzzle for you. The same applies if you finish a puzzle and you don't collect your reward, like the gold brick, for example. I've done that a time or two in my preliminary, like, test runs when I've been going around trying to see, like, all right, how do you solve this puzzle so I know what I'm doing? Because, you know, sometimes these puzzles are really simple, and I do look like I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I have no clue, and i got to edit the crap out of the video, which is uh, like this one. You know, the first stretch, the first 25, 30 minutes, pretty solid. 
pretty easy peasy. It gets really rough. Like if you guys could see my timeline and all the edits and fades and oh man, it's pretty ugly. It's it's not to my liking. I'm I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that kind of stuff and you know Speaking of perfectionists, we are doing a pretty good job of destroying all these bad guys, protecting old Captain America 2099, and this is the last battle right here. We have, like, the full-on battle royale as, like, I swear, like, 50 bad guys come out at us, and we're like, you mad, bro? And we just keep launching these rockets and, and melting and, and all that, and it, it works out in our favor because we are the victors. However, like I said, you know, if you were to count all these guys, I'm pretty sure... There is at least 30 baddies that we take out in this section. All right, all right, all right. Hey, uh, what's been your favorite area so far? You know, I don't ask you guys a lot of questions. I know some of you kind of feel like we're playing together as I coach you through this, so I should probably interact with you guys a little bit more than I have been as of late. So, you know, what has been your favorite area to take on in Free Roam? Is there, is there a mission that stands out that you like the most? Or maybe you don't have a favorite, but there's one that just drove you nuts. Well, I have to be honest, there is one or maybe two of those, actually, if I'm being honest, coming up later in this video. As I already mentioned, there's tons of edits in my timeline. Some of them are just because there's lots of flying around from area to area throughout Chronopolis, and I just tried to save a little bit of time considering how long this video was. Some of it's because I totally boofed on a, on a mission or something and couldn't figure it out and had to come back and make an edit. Because it's better to, like, you know, make an edit and fix my stuff than to replay the whole thing if I can't figure it out. So, anyways, hey, look at that. We actually completed that. I didn't do a head count of the bad guys we took out. However, uh, we are done. Like I said, I promise we were the victors, and I did deliver on that. Now, hey, a little fun fact for you, too. As I target Mission 3 and we head over to Agent Venom to do some work, ironically, while I was editing not only this video but this particular mission, I got a message on Facebook from another Happy Thumbs Gamer who was asking, how do you get Venom in LEGO Marvel's superheroes? Now, if you were paying close attention, you probably realized I didn't include LEGO Marvel superheroes too, nor did I call him Agent Ventum, Ventum, Agent Venom. I called him Venom, right? So I give a bunch of information from our trophy achievement guide, links, all this stuff, and it turns out they were talking about the old one, and unfortunately, you get it for completing the story, and they'd completed the story and the free play, and it did not work out, so they still don't have that. So I don't know. Hopefully that's not a glitch. Hopefully it's not a game-ending thing for them, but I just find that, uh, find that totally ironic and, like, funny at the same time because... Like, it just was so coincidental that they were asking about Venom when I was editing the Venom part. And I even said, hey, the video will be out tomorrow because, you know, that's when I plan to release this one. And so, anyways, it was just kind of funny. But, all right, uh, going along with the old Agent Venom mission here, it turns out, guess what? We got to fetch some more information. Tons of peeps on the loose on the city here. We got to find out the information he is looking for. Now, I don't know if you noticed, too, the last person we talked to, I walked up and I hit the old swinkle button. And Soikel for Iron Man is also launch rockets. And apparently it didn't uh, realize I was actually close enough, so it launched rockets and I blew up my informant. Luckily they respond and answered my question without any hassle. But, uh, you know, just thought that was kind of funny. So, all right, two down. I believe we got two more to go. I think, oh, what the what? Whoa! What was, you know, this has been happening to me more often than not. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It kind of freaks me out if I'm being totally honest. That person just split into three people. Like, what? So I'm glad you saw it too, and it wasn't just me. I thought I was seeing things at first. But it turns out the guy we were looking for is right back here. And I've noticed there's a lot of duplicate people here. And whoa, what's going on? Uh oh. What? Uh, what? It, oh my gosh. So Nueva York is haunted. I, I didn't know that, but a little fun fact for you. Yeah, Nueva York is haunted. And look at this. We've come around the corner here. We find ourselves becoming the people's hero yet again. So, hey, we are almost there. It's not going to be long before we get that. And I might even wrap up that challenge by doing a specific video. And look, look, it's twins again. What is going on? There's something in the water here in Nueva York. I'm not sure I like it. I'm not sure I like it at all. I will say that I will be glad to get this level done and have it in our rear view or in the bag, as I like to say. And, uh, you know, we can move on and, and forget about it. You know, it's kind of like those scary movies. Like, they're fun to watch at times, but then, like... You know, when it's dark out or you're alone or whatever the case may be, it's not fun. Those those are not the fun times for those scary movies. But, all right, we do have another person to talk to back here hiding back around the corner. 
And I think this is the last person. So it turns out we had four people. Maybe there was five. We'll find out when we get to the end here. Because I haven't been paying attention. I've been flapping my upper. All right, that's it, though, because we know we got all of it handled when that purple arrow pops up and starts bouncing around on screen. Know what I mean? All right, so we're here. We got the info you need. Let's see if we can get the questions right. All right, so if this was Jeopardy, we would say, uh, who is the second answer? No, third answer. Uh, no, fourth. Let's go with fourth. Is that my final? Nope, fifth is my final answer. Bam! Winning! All right, so then he asks us another question, which ends up being, if I remember right, it's the second one. So let's go ahead and see. Third? Oh, it's the third one. My number was wrong. My math was off. All right, collect those bluesies and that character token twosie, and let's go ahead and move on. Oh, but wait. This actually unlocks a Gwenpool mission. So uh, turns out Agent Venom is the sole person that you need to unlock to get this mission in Manhattan. Now, as it turns out, there may be some other requirements, uh, like other missions that you need to get done. I don't have any information pertaining to that because all we needed to do was get Agent Venom. That being said, follow our playlist order of free roam videos and that will indubitably get you the character missions and stuff that we have and should unlock it for you as well. So what I'm saying is if you haven't done, you know, like Ancient Egypt, go do Ancient Egypt. You know, we got a video for that. Meanwhile, we're going to move on to the next puzzle, which happens to be a series of malfunctioning. That's right, malfunction. We got a whole bunch of things going wrong around here. So when it starts off, we got this guy with a bunch of trash on top of him. So we're going to go ahead and close the can that was spewing out all the garbage. And then we're going to use somebody with telekinesis to go ahead and remove the rest and slam it down in the canister next to it. So uh, then we get a little bit of information here that there are a couple of other things here that need to be repaired. Looks like there are four scattered around here. So the next one's going to be right here in the middle. It's kind of the old uh, which way do we go sign here. We're going to fix that up. You got to use telekinesis, I guess. Maybe you don't need telekinesis to build it, but we did because we're Doctor Strange. But uh, regardless, you need to flip this button four times once you build up these pieces, whether they needed telekinesis or not. But, so fourth time's the charm in this case, and I was wondering, I was like, all right, well, what's going on here? Is this even going to do anything? What am I missing? And then, boom, fourth time worked for me, so O oh, to the A. Yeah. And then you should get a little overview that there are three malfunctioning things locally, and the next one happens to be right behind us. There's the old, uh, what do they call those things? They're not they're not escalators. They're like walking escalators? That, there's got to be a, a, a better term. You know, maybe you can educate me down below. That's right, educate me with what this really is down below below in the comments and meanwhile i'm gonna go ahead and charge up old jane here and that's her name right jane did i say it right i don't know i always forget i always try to remember and i'm not a huge fan of the thor movies and i shouldn't say i'm not a fan i just haven't watched them i've watched the first one and part of the second one but i haven't watched ragnarok and i hear that's like the best marvel movie ever so we'll have to wait and see. Although Black Panther just hit some uh, pretty high standards too. But all right, speaking of high standards, look at this guy. What's he doing way up there? Let's go ahead and smash the little stool next to him. And then we can go ahead and build up the bricks into a handheld where we can jump up and bring him back down to earth. And that's going to do it. Apparently we got them all there. So we got uh, the garbage on the garbage cans. We got the uh, sign going, which way do you go? We also got the walking escalator and of course we got that uh one up high too was there one that i'm missing i feel like i'm missing one anyway well you can go back and watch if i missed one verbally my bad hopefully i got all the text right this time i'm double checking my text and checking it twice making sure i don't mess up that anymore because i've already messed up two and although the information on screen is right and my voiceover is all correct uh, sometimes it gets a little confusing. Even the quick links on YouTube are correct, but I mislabeled some of the vistas, not to be missed as points. And uh, what was the other one? It was one recently. Oh, the Underwater Avenger. I messed up that one too. The last like four places are all labeled Medieval England, but they're all like not Medieval England. So my bad. And you guys were really quick to point that out. And, and you know, some of you were kind of sassy about it. And some of you were just like nice and like, hey, you made a mistake. And, and to be honest with you, I'm okay with either way because we want it to be right and we want to try and correct it if we can. Now, this one was kind of tricky. This puzzle took me for a loop as you saw me fly all the way around the outside. And then it turns out it was on the inside. And once we get in here, I see this great 
great. And I switch to Ms. Marvel to sneak on through to the other side, but it does not work. So I look around, and you know the, the, the old Lego rule. If you can't figure out what you're supposed to do, smash everything. And usually you'll find some bricks. In our case, we did. And it turns out it gave us some bricks into a, uh-oh, that's right. Time to get our oots oots on. It's a techno panel. This one's pretty easy. You just have to get your oots on. Follow the, uh, dire the, the, direro the direction of the arrows. Boy, my brain sometimes tries to say like five words at once. Or in that case, too. But uh, we'll go ahead and follow the directions, and up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start, gets us in. Actually, it was a lot more simpler than that. But to get inside there, push the button, grab your gold brick, and we will move on to the next puzzle, which happens to be right around the corner. This one's kind of tricky, too, as it's, uh, well, it's in one of those kind of underground entry points. Now, remember this later, because there is a whole underground set of tunnels that are connected and we actually have to go in there because stan lee is down in there so that gold hallway right there if you want to just knock stan out right now just go ahead and follow that hallway and i'm pretty sure it takes you right to him so don't follow the path from the big room to the next big room take the side path about halfway but again we have a quick link for that it's the last thing we do so you can definitely check that out now or later which uh, was one of my friend Jason's favorite candy growing up now and later. I love that stuff. And you know what? I don't see it ever anymore. I wonder if that's even around. In fact, I'm going to have to do a, a little Google or Amazoning here in a minute and find out if I can order some. I might even ship some to my buddy just as like a, a surprise. But All right. Speaking of surprise, uh, this room is in for a surprise. And we solved this puzzle. We actually have uh, the need for Captain America and a little bit of... I guess somebody with some brains. I don't know if you need somebody super smart like Iron Man, but somebody with some brains to spin that wheel around. And essentially, we need to get these pumps going. And uh, once we get both of them, you saw me, I had to repair that inner panel there and then spin the wheel again to get both going, right? You, you saw that? If not, you can go back to the quick link for Puzzle 5 <laughs> or just go back 30 seconds. It'll show you. And then you got to hop on the old pad here. And this is where it gets weird for me because, like, look, I hop on the pad and it does this really long cinematic view of the room there. And then it doesn't do anything. So uh, you can certainly uh, hop back on the pad and try it again, right? And all of a sudden, the, I see the boingers flashing, so they've got my attention. I'm not pushing any buttons. And all of a sudden, the camera swings around, and it actually allows me to aim and throw. And this is what we needed to do. So not sure if there was user error. Maybe I pushed a button or something. Something happened that first time that didn't go my way, but... Hop back on and get her done. Look at that. We spun it around, broke that glass, and flipped the switch, which overloads and pukes out the gold. How's that square come out the circle? You know, I've known that doesn't work since I was like eight months old when my parents got me that little, you know, the shape toy. That I know every one of you had the shape toy that had the star, the triangle, and the circle and the square, and you had to put it through the top. And you guys remember what I'm talking about. I think it was a Fisher Price, if I remember right. Anyway, it didn't work, but it, uh, apparently somehow the square went through the circle here. So magic happening. And ma I told you it was haunted. See, maybe that's some more of that uh, haunting going on here. But all right, we're going back up based off of the arrows pointing on my compass there. Uh, yeah, we got to go up. Now, this is my least favorite of all free roam missions so far. Uh, and it's really just because I had a hard time figuring it out. I'm just going to be honest. So this right here, what you're seeing is my first attempt. So I'm totally like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just got here. I make an edit in a minute and it's a fairly clean edit and it takes us away. But so basically what happens is you take control of these two guys and you can see that they're stuck. They can't go anywhere. But then the camera, as soon as you let go of them, the camera pans back and shows you the guys down below. When it panned down below, that's when we switch to when I know what I'm doing. So I actually know what I'm doing now. And it still takes like five minutes to solve this puzzle. So if you've already solved this puzzle, I highly recommend clicking a quick link down below, which looks like it happens to be for race number one. That's right. Get your race on. And look at that. Good timing, Thumby. Thanks for that helpful tip there. But essentially what we need to know here is this, this switch on the lower left controls where the power is on the upper and you can tell based on the little lightning bolt there you can see the far right one was lit up 
So that actually controls where the power is. And we need to power up both the right and the left side. But once we power up the right side, we need to move the power so we can flip the switch. Like right now, we've powered up the right, but there's still power in there, which would hurt our character if we try to mind control him and walk him in there, which is actually what happened the first time I did it. I shocked the crap out of that dude. He was in there going for like 15 minutes before I finally figured out what I was really supposed to do. That being said, don't take your guy in there and do that. If you do, you might have to fly away. I had to fly all the way over to Manhattan to reset this puzzle. That, that is real talk. I really had to do that. And yes, I really just did just miss and fall all the way to the ground there, too. So that's why I said this puzzle was not my favorite because there there's the two tiers and, and and i had a hard time actually doing the mind control too it would pop up the circle icon and i'd hit circle and it wouldn't do the mind control it would pull up my special power or do something else or charge up my it just never worked so i apologize for how newbie this whole sequence is here but i mean hey at least i know what we're doing here so again you have to use the lower level left side to switch the power around from the right left and middle on the upper walkway you need to charge both the right and left sides which will then open up and give you a button to press we need to then control the minds of those guys up there and press both buttons so you can see i now have both buttons available in both areas now I just have to go, actually more of a switch, I should say. Button's confusing because there's those buttons in the middle. But you can see why this is not my favorite. And I will say, we are officially over the halfway point of this video. So we got that going for us, which is nice. And if you guys don't know what movie that's from, I won't ruin it for you. But I will tell you that it has been Reese's favorite movie for like the last month and a half or so. And it's something that I had not exposed him to for quite some time. Or actually ever. I think he watched it when he was like four but he wouldn't remember that. But anyways, if you guys know what it is, drop me a comment down below as well. That's right. Uh, so we got that going for me, which is nice. Yeah, it's a classic. It's, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Now you can see, look, I'm pumping up the left side because I flipped that switch a couple of times. And you can see the lightning bolt is lit up on the far left now, indicating that that's where that power is. So again, we don't want to take our mind-controlled person into that far left right now. However, we could certainly take him into the far right if we could get some mind control going here. See what I'm saying? Like, I just... It's probably user errors. Probably me. Like, I'm not going to blame the game because uh, this was this was totally me. But you can see I flipped that switch and what that switch on. So, okay. So, the goal is to flip both those outer switches. I've talked about that. But what I haven't talked about is what those switches do. They actually open up a pressure-sensitive switch in the middle there. And essentially, we need to press both of those to unlock the gold box with the brick. Or the, the box with the gold brick in it. See, I can't even say this mission, this puzzle right. See, I don't even call it a mission. Ugh. Quick link. Race one. Now. Go. Best recommendation. <laughs> anyway, all right. So definitely don't want the power on the middle because that's where we want to finish. So once we've got that switch on the far right flipped and it's been powered up and all that, we want to make sure that we put the power back over there because we still need to mind control and flip the lever in the far left room. And then we have to also stand on the pressure sensitive switch in the middle as well so we're in the home stretch of this it's almost done we got 30 seconds till we collect our gold brick which is also one of the most difficult bricks to get because of its location like it's it's such a funny angle uh, look at this okay well let's see nope swing and a miss strike two all right that's probably strike three if i mean okay strike four all right, you're out of here all right, listen, I mean, we, we've, oh, we finally got it. Oh, my gosh, that was embarrassing. But, hey, we're done. It's behind us now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Just make sure you get that gold brick, because as I was saying earlier, if you don't collect the reward, you have to do it again, and you probably don't want to do that again. However, maybe you breezed right through it. Maybe you didn't have any problems with it. Maybe it was super obvious to you. You know, everyone's brain works a little differently, and you never know. Next up, we've got ourselves a race, and this is Spider UK. That's right, not Spider Uck. It's Spider UK. And we're going to go ahead and pull out Spider Man as we need a web slinger to go ahead and do this race. As it turns out, I messed up. Now, I'm not a huge fan. As you guys have heard me talk in previous videos, not a big fan of the way Spider-Man flows and bounces around. Like, I, I think it's really cool that he can just throw a web up into, like, nowhere and we can fly all over the map doing that. Like, I, I think that's cool. 
the control of it though is just I've never been able to grasp it. And and you know, a lot of you guys have commented in the past that like, you know, Lego Marvel races, especially the flying races, were the worst and they were really hard. I I you know, I struggled here and there, but I never like really struggled with those races. I, I have a harder time flying with Spider Man than I do with flying in those, you know, even those speedy races. So uh, you know, like I was saying a minute ago about everyone's brain's a little different. Everyone's skill set's a little different, too. And i just not very good with this. And, and a lot of it's just because how clunky it is. It's like one fling, two fling, and then it's like flu, super fling. And then it's like, but, but then it's like one fling, two fling, three fling, super fling. You know, it's like it doesn't seem to be consistent. And maybe it's a button I'm pressing or not pressing. I mean, it very well could be user error, and that's what I've chalked it up to. But and this is kind of tricky, too. Look how tight these turns are coming through here. And then he does the super fling and almost. Oh, I was glad to get through that 19th checkpoint there and collect my character token for getting the gold. Now, hopefully, it's not hard for you. For me, it was, you know, I had to do it a couple of times. So. Anyways, uh, we make our way back over to the tops, and then again I fail. See, look, this is the what the second or third time I have just failed miserably while trying while trying to get somewhere with Spider-Man. Remember earlier I was trying to get on that rooftop? Not happening. All right, next up though we got another puzzle. This one is we're gonna go back over. We're gonna skip over some stuff in between uh, where we are and where we left off. We're gonna go right back to where we left off, and I am gonna go to somebody that I can control with a little more precision here. So I'm going to speed off and head over to that blue halo. Now, this one's kind of funny, too, because watch this. So I, I haven't done this puzzle yet. I'm not exactly sure how to solve it, but I've got a good idea. Like, I see right away that there is some digging spots, so I pull out a character with the digging ability. But that's after I am mistakenly thinking this is gold and I'm trying to melt it down. So like, like I said, I, I think I know what I'm doing, but I don't. But then I'm like, all right, so plenty of digging spots. Let's go ahead and pull out somebody that can get their dig on. And I think I pull out the old Black Panther, uh, if I remember correctly, or do I? Where am I going? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Yep, Black Panther it is. We'll go ahead. And now I dig up a bunch of piles. I think like three or four piles. And I get some studs there. And it looks like a little carrot pops up. And little studs here. A little brown brown carrot, looks like. Maybe, maybe my color's off on my monitor, but... All right, so let's see what's over here. And Okay, I notice I, may, I see a techno panel in the back. I think, okay, may, maybe that's where it's at. Okay. Oh, I better finish digging these up first, right? Okay. So what I don't realize is is that there are two off screen that I didn't see. So there's some on that same section of grass I was just at right there along the ledge, but further down to the left. So anyways, I skipped those, and I'm like, all right, that's not doing anything. There's nothing to be had there. Let's go ahead and get our oomps, oomps, oomps on at this techno panel. And I do it, and look at that. All of a sudden, there's water spewing out the end here. But it does give us some bricks, so... Uh, you know, this is kind of one of those ones that's like, it's kind of like the domino effect. I eventually, uh, by by trial and error, get to where I need to be. And, oh, look, there's there's water. And I'm like, sweet, it's done. Where's my gold brick? Look at me running over there. I'm like, no, oh, wait, it's not it's not raining everywhere. So uh, clearly I got to find some more bricks. And there's two gaps over here and only one digging spot. So I get my dig on real quick and I find a box. I go ahead and bust its chops. And inside, what do we got? What do we got? We got some buildable bricks that put us together. Oh, but it's only one side of it. So where am I going to get the last one? Oh, it turns out I missed a digging spot over here. And this one's got a big old, what is that, a sunflower? Anyhow, we go ahead and it pukes out some bricks and we build them up. And look at that. All of a sudden, we've actually got ourselves a real irrigation system. We got some water flowing through here, and uh, we can get our water on and get our gold brick. So we'll collect that. Thank you very much. And now we're going to actually drop it like it's hot. That's right. We're going to go all the way down to the ground floor here. And oh, look at that. Black Panther was doing some stretches like we were wasting his time or something. Did you see that? It's like, come on, buddy. I guess I might as well get some stretches in while I'm standing here. Anyhow, we flop down to the ground here. <laughs> Splatter, more like. And uh, so this is our sixth free roam area so it's our sixth gold brick statue or gold brick monument and each one costs 10 gold bricks more than the previous one so for us this is our sixth one it's going to cost 60 bricks just depending on uh you know where you're at and what levels you've done uh, each one like i said it's going to cost 10 more and to be honest with you i'm not even sure that has anything to do with anything like i need to talk to tyler p about that as we head to spider pig spider pig does whatever a spider pig does. Anybody remember that? Anyways, it's actually spider ham. But yeah, I have to talk to Tyler and find out like if those have any relevance to the 100% or not because 
there's no challenge for them or anything. And and maybe they're relevant to like the big boom boss battle, which I haven't talked about either. There's no big boom boss battle, but there was. If you remember during our story, one of our first forced boss battles was during the story, and it was right here in Nueva York. We had to do the power thing. It was like Electro or something. I don't, I don't Electro 4000. Ah, it's been a while. You know, this game came out a while ago. It's my own fault for stretching it out like I did, but I don't really remember his name is what I'm getting at. And it, But it did happen here, so I feel like although not all areas have a boom boss battle at the end, I feel like most of them kind of do. They were just not necessarily available in free roam. Maybe they were forced in story. Because there was at least one other one. I know that we when we started free roam from scratch and we had done nothing but story and free play, we still had at least two boss battles. And, and that was before we even started the challenges or anything. So anyways, that being said, uh, you know, we got a couple of guys we have to help Spider-Ham... Uh, I guess save? I don't know that we're really saving them. I mean, look at this big bear. Like, I don't, he doesn't seem to be in any trouble. Uh, maybe his, his uh, wardrobe needs a little help, perhaps, because that uh, hat doesn't quite match his brown coat. But, you know, hey, to each their own, you know. Maybe he got a free bowl of soup with that hat. Oh, another drop from Reese's favorite movie right now. I, I kind of improvised. It wasn't like verbatim, but it's still the gist of it. Anyways, moving along. We got that bear freed, and we're going to move along to the next guy over here, which, uh, let's see here. And keep in mind, we do have quick links down below, as Thumby just reminded us. And what do we got? Oh, that's right. This guy's uh, getting a load of bull over here. Ha ha ha. Now, actually, uh, we've got to take out the bad guys. Look, he's got some old gangsters, and he's got all sorts of new and old school foes trying to uh, put him down. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, take things to the next level and bust out with some heat ray. Oh, he came out of nowhere with that. And look at this. I got a really wonky angle on my heat ray right now. Like, look at that. Like, what is going on? Look at my reticle. It's over to the right by the pink girl, and it's going to the left. What is even going on right now? I'm telling you, Nueva York is haunted. I mean, I, I've been saying that, but I mean, look, how many things, how many how many people do we need to see, like, twins duplicated or people spawn into threes or, you know, reflections? Come on, there is some serious stuff going on here, and I am ready to be out. And the good news is we're not quite in the home stretch, but we're getting close. We got another puzzle coming up. So let's see here. What do we got next? Come on. Get out of here, character tug. Oh, puzzle number eight is also gold brick number eight. You know how we love us some gold. All right, so we got a couple couple things right over in that corner here. All right, so this is, all right, full confession here. This was also kind of confusing. As I fly around and I get lost, you'll notice an edit in about three, two, one. Oh, there it was. It was kind of a hard edit. But essentially, it was in the same place. I tried to make it look like... You know, like I wasn't editing there. But it turns out, like the sounds and, and the way that the compass is, it makes me feel like we're on the other side of the building. But it turns out it's right here. This is the puzzle. Now, I walk over to this chick standing here who happens to be Quake, which is actually a mission that we don't want to do right now. So I'm going to go ahead and decline this mission. And if I'm being 100% honest, like I didn't, it took me a while to figure this out. I had to fly around and, and I could not... There is a floating car behind us that actually has a grapple plug on it up above it, and it requires a little bit of time manipulation here, too. We got a little uh, a parking police officer here that is going to go ahead and uh, write a ticket, which doesn't bother us at all. He's wrongfully parked here, so we'll go ahead and drop the car down. That's right, hit the switch on the old hydros there. And it turns out we can go ahead and grapple that plug away now. So spam, 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 and it's gone. And now, although there is a Doctor Strange point there, which we know there's one inside that room with the gal that's trapped, we got to ha somehow access it, and it won't give us that icon to go ahead and do that. So we're going to manipulate time again, and we're going to move it forward this time. I forgot to mention, we moved it backwards last time. And this time we're moving it forward, and it's moving the car, and the guy freaks out. Hey, how'd it get over there? Yeah, don't worry about it, buddy. Don't ask questions. This place is haunted anyways. We're, we fit in rather nicely with a little bit of Doctor Strange magic. But inside we go, and there is a Doctor Strange pad in here. We have to carve out this shape. Once we get her done, it's actually going to go ahead and open the door and give us access to that person. And they reward us with a nice shiny gold brick. There we go. 
So, hey, a little fun fact for you, too. If you start to make a mistake on one of those little Doctor Strange carvings there, you can actually go back if you don't complete the line. So if you got, like, halfway to the end, you're like, oh, I messed up. You can reverse that. Go backwards. You can actually go all the way back to the beginning if you really need to. All right, so that is done. Let's step up to the plate and talk to Quake now. As we were told earlier, Quake was somebody that opens up after Agent Coulson is completed. So Quake will not be here. If you go ahead and spawn the area, I, I don't believe she's here. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I guess I shouldn't say she won't be here. But it's my understanding that you have to complete the Agent Coulson mission first. Which is why we did that. And now here she is, and she sends us on a equally confusing mission. I didn't really care for this one a whole lot either. Because first of all, she gives us a list of people. But then at the end she says, if you forget, don't worry, I will be here. Which is true, but she doesn't tell us again. That's it. So she told us the areas. That's it. We don't get another we don't get another take on that. So speaking of takes, it takes a long time to get from point A to point B. So I'm going to kind of jump through here and take you to the place. We're going to use the fast travel right now to get all the way to ancient Egypt. Ancient? Ancient. There's an N in there somewhere, I promise. This one happens to be right over here by the one of the pyramids. And so essentially you can stand in high up places and kind of look around with your camera out. Now, only certain characters have cameras. So that's kind of a fun fact you need to know, too. Well, we're going to use somebody like Spider-Man, Gwenpool, or I guess Spider... St Spider-Gwen? No. Yeah, Spider-Gwen. Uh, there's a handful. Miss Marvel. There's a handful of people that have cameras. And essentially, you don't want to take a selfie. You want to flip the camera around by hitting the button there. For us, it's triangle. For you, it may be Y. I don't know what it is on the Switch. My bad. But essentially, you can kind of scroll around and look, and it'll show you where you need to take the picture. So we, we remembered Egypt, Hala... And and I think that's it. I don't I don't think we remembered any other ones. But anyway, so so we got we got Egypt. We're gonna go over to Hala. Oh no, it's Hydro Empire was the other one we remembered. So we're gonna go over to Hydro Empire next. Hydra Empire, not Hydro. Yes, they're not water. They're they are a bad organization of baddies, not a uh, like a water company. But uh, and here we are. Where I used Spider Man to get here because I knew it wasn't very far, and I knew he had a camera out. So I thought I might be able to save a little time by not having to play musical characters multiple times. But uh, I didn't know where the picture was going to be, but I went to right up to the top and looked around where I'd have a nice view. And, of course, it throws you into selfie mode every time. I guess we're really narcissistic these days. And uh, I guess the auto, uh, the default is the selfie cam. And all right, so you can see there I've done a very major edit. We went from oh, the old Hydra Empire all the way back to Quake here. And it's because I forgot what was next. And I really didn't know at the time that you could kind of scan around and it would kind of tell you where the other pictures were. And I find that out in a minute. But I cash in my first two. So Ancient Egypt. That's right. I got the N that time. And Hydra Empire. Had the A. Both said right. Uh, they're both done. So we still have more. And I'm like, oh, gosh. And, and she didn't tell me. I tried to talk to her like seven times. Edited all that out because you didn't need to see any of that. And I just think, okay, I'm going to go to a high point, And I'm just going to take a peek with someone with a camera and see what we got. And as soon as I throw into selfie mode, I saw in the back there that there was at least one green square and one white square. So I kind of got a hint of where I need to go. And luckily for me, I was high enough up. And there was a zoom feature that allowed me to take a picture of the Old West. Boom. That one's done. Now I can see that Hala is over there, uh, but it's being blocked. So I can't take the photo because it's not green, right? And I see another one down there in Lumeria. Did you see it down there? Takes me a minute to figure out that it was underwater, but I do remember her saying Lumeria or Lemuria. Gosh, let me say that right before uh, I remembered. So anyways, we get down here. We switch to a camera person. We get our photo on. Not a very good photo, but hey, it, it's green. It works. We get what we need. And uh, we're going to go ahead and edit out the travel over to Hala. Uh, but we're going to head to Hala next. This is another one of those ones where I could have added some extra textual references and maybe even some extra quick links to the individuals. Like sometimes, like when there's multiple chandeliers that need to be scattered or shattered or something, I will give you multiple quick links. So I, I might do that in future free roams. But you can see we're over on the hills of Hala. And we just need to get that build, big building in the back. And we'll get it here. This is, uh, I went the long way around. Whoopsie. Hopefully you will be a little bit more efficient than I was. 
But, uh, okay, last but not least, I do believe we just need to use the fast travel to get back to Nueva York and head back over to Quake and solve that, which will uh, not only give us the character token for Quake, but it should open up another Gwenpool mission. So, now, looking at our view count and our watch time on our videos, it looks like you guys prefer us to do the free roam videos first. Tyler and I debated this back and forth, and we weren't sure what you guys would have preferred, but based Based on the views and stuff, it seems like the free roams are definitely giving you guys more trouble, or uh, maybe you just prefer them because they're longer. I I'm not sure why, but let me know down below what you guys prefer, because we could bust out like four or five Gwenpool missions in a row and, and, and be mostly caught up or done with those, but I've kind of been mixing them up, you know, a little challenge here, maybe, maybe a free room here, maybe a Gwenpool mission here. So, you know, if you guys are cool with the steady flow that I'm bringing, I'll keep it I'll keep it going, I guess. I was trying to rhyme, but I didn't. Geez, keep singing didn't really make sense. So, anyways, uh, and if you don't, if you want, maybe the Gwenpool mission's done first, despite the low view count and stuff. Let me know, because analytics are usually a telltale sign of what you guys want. But sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes you guys just skip over watching those p completely, and you never voice your opinion that you'd, you know, that you would watch these other ones. So. All right, hey, we got a motorcycle race that's right behind where Quake was, and we're going to use Gwenpool's motorcycle that we opened up in a previous free roam video. We find that this one is good because it allows us the pew-pew action up front to destroy any vehicles or things in our path, but it also has pretty good turning and speed capabilities as well. However, there is lots of ups and downs on this particular race, and it's kind of a funny angle sometimes. Like, you got to be careful when you're giving it gas and when you're turning. And when you're in the air, you can kind of turn the bike. When you land, you might not be at the angle you want to be. So, uh, hey, sometimes slower is better. If you look at my time when I finish this race, I have plenty of time left over. So don't, you know, don't frustrate yourself trying to get, like, super fast and not make any mistakes. You can make a mistake or two along the way. And, uh, you know, I did have to do this race twice. And don't be fooled by that race opening up over to the right because we have not been in Sakaar and done all the missions there and the races and, and, and you know, stuff. There, there was a little detour there that they tried to take us on, but I didn't fall for it. And we got all the way through there. We got Vermond. Who is Vermont? I'm going to have to read that trading card to see what's going on there because I have no idea who that is. But, hey, Lucas, looks like we've got everything wrapped up except for Mr. Lee is still in peril. So I'm going to do a double check real quick, make sure nothing else is there. And at this time, I was not realizing that there was no boom boss battle. I was kind of freaking out going, uh-oh. This isn't popping up. Where's the boom? There's not even a locked mission somewhere, which is usually what the boom boss battles are. Then it hit me after I freed Lee, and I remembered, wait a minute. We already did this area. We did it in the story. It was part of the actual stuff. So, hey, I drive over to kind of the general vicinity of where Lee is. I got totally lost. I'm going to help you by skipping the wasted time that I had there. I'm going to recommend you fly over just a little to the west of where that Stan Lee in peril icon is. And you're going to fly down to one of these underground areas. There's only like two, maybe three openings to get in here. And what we want to look for is this yellow tunnel. Now, along the yellow tunnel, there's going to be a little side road. We're going to take that path, and inside the path is going to be the stuff we need. That's right, right around the corner. Oh, right there is where it is. Yep, we smash that box, and we get ourselves a dragon, which is going to need a little chi. That's right. So we're going to pull out old Iron Fist and pump up his chi ability. Which, I'm surprised it didn't auto-default to Iron Fist, even though it was just one character over. But uh, we charge it up, we fill up the meter, and look at that. All of a sudden, the doors open, and we've got a couple of hazmat suit baddies and a gold cage in the back, which actually happens to have Stan Lee inside of it. So, I'm going to melt the bad guys and melt Mr. Lee's cage there. And unfortunately, it turns out you need to do some sort of, uh, I, I don't know, for some reason, the heat ray did not work on that other hazmat baddie. you got to throw some sort of a projectile at him, though, and give him the old tweet, 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 you know, see, make him see stars. And uh, I do that here in a second. I switch over to, like, I think Iron Man's rockets do a pretty good job, or let's see here. What, what do I switch to? Well, come on, Brian, what do, what do you do? Maybe I just do a butt slam? I don't remember. Now, I couldn't get up close. But uh, let's see here. We got we got to switch on over to who we got, who we got, who we got. I think it's Iron Man. As I like, Yep. Iron Man it is, and we throw the old circle button at him. That's right, rockets galore. Tweety, tweety, tweety. 
All right, take him down. And last but not least, once all three bad guys have been removed and that gold cage has been melted down, Mr. Lee will throw out some studs and give us the old Excelsior. And guess what, boys and goyles? That is officially it. Now, I kind of run out. I try to run and beat Stan out of the hallways here, and he gets left in my dust. I guess... You know, he's doing pretty good for a 95-year-old, if I'm being honest. But uh, that being said, let's go ahead and fly up top and take a quick peek at the map and make sure. You know, the one thing about not having a boom boss battle is there is no 100% way to know if you're done with the area, right? Like, that that's the only downside to it. But there's nothing here. We scanned, and there's nothing. And that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Nueva York Free Room. Hopefully you guys had fun. I know this one was kind of a doozy, lots of edits and all that, but uh, yeah, I had fun. It was almost just short of an hour, and uh, I am winded, I am hungry, and I'm ready to move on to the next video. So, as always, until next time, catch my breath. So